Hi, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Nafton. How are you? I miss you so much. I miss seeing your sweet little faces and giving you hugs at school. I hope that you're having fun at home. I'm at home with Caitlin and Hi. Will. He's my camera What's boy. <laughs> and since we can't be together in our classroom, I thought it would be great to read you a story and send it to you to read and listen to at home. It's about one of our favorite books that our friend Caius gave us called The Worry Box. The Worry Box. Here is the Worry Box. Here's the box. Wait, it's time for B. E A R B E A R. Stop in your tracks, find a book and relax. Be excited about reading. Here we go. I still can't do it. I still can't do it. The Worry Box by Suzanne Chu, illustrated by Sean Julian. Here's the title page. High up on his thinking spot, Murray Bear looked out across the valley. There you are, called his sister Molly. It's time for lunch. I'm not hungry, Murray sighed. You're always hungry, giggled Molly. Come on, or we'll be late meeting Oliver at the waterfall. I don't want to go, sniffled Murray. What if the waterfall is too loud? What if it's so big that I get swept away? Molly squeezed Murray tight. Waterfalls are big and loud, she said, but they're also beautiful. I won't get whisked away, asked Murray. Not with me to hold your paw, said Molly firmly. Besides, sharing worries always makes them feel smaller. And the two bears held paws as they headed home. After lunch, Molly had a secret to share. This is my worry box, she smiled. When I'm worried about something, I write it down, then put it inside. Does it make your worries go away? Asked Murray. No, said Molly, but when my worries are in the box, they don't stop me from having fun. Let's make one for you. Worrying won't stop me, cheered Murray, dropping his worry into the box and shutting the lid tight. Ready? Molly asked. Ready, nodded Murray. Skipping along the riverbank, the bears spotted dragonflies dancing above their heads. Almost there, said Molly. Murray stopped skipping and sighed. Aww. There sparkling in the sunlight was the rumbling, tumbling waterfall. Wow, gasped Murray. It's so big. Look, Murray, Molly cried. It's Oliver. Murray took a deep breath. Let's go and play he decided. There's Oliver, the little bunny. There's a big waterfall. Murray, Molly, and Oliver were busy counting fish when they heard a voice behind them. Hello there, called a rabbit Murray had never met before. It's my friend Lily, beamed Oliver. Suddenly, Murray felt very, very shy. Lily and Oliver scampered back across the water. Lily climbed to the top of the rocks. I want to go even higher, she announced, looking at an oak tree. Let's climb to the top. The friends raced off, all except Murray, who had started to worry. He wanted to join in, but his tummy suddenly felt tight. Then he remembered, my worry box, he said, thinking about what Molly had said. He quickly wrote down his worries. I'm worried that Lily won't like me. I'm worried that everyone will laugh at me. I'm worried that I'm not a very good climber. Worrying won't stop me, 
he exclaimed, closing the box and dashing off to the tree. Whoa, look at that big giant tree. You turn the book sideways. Wow, look how tall that is. <laughs> up, 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 Murray climbed. Hurry, climb higher, called Lily. You can see everything. But Murray had found something wonderful, a hole in the tree, and inside was a nest of fluffy owl chicks. Wow, he said softly. Big picture. That's a big picture. All afternoon, the friends played and swam until it was time to go. Oh no, cried Molly, I lost my backpack. The friends looked high and low until they found the backpack hidden at the water's edge. Just in time, said Oliver, the sun is starting to set. Hurry, Lily squeaked in panic. We have to get home. Why, what's wrong, asked Oliver. Lily's lip trembled. We won't be able to see where we're going. We'll be late for bedtime and, and I don't like the dark. Murray held Lily's paw. Sharing worries makes them feel smaller and not as scary, he told her. See, I keep mine in a special box. He gave her a scrap of paper and a pencil. You can put yours in here too, he smiled. Lily stayed by Murray's side as they walked through the woods. Follow the fireflies, Murray said. They're like night lights to show us the path. Lily squeaked as an owl hooted overhead. It's okay, whispered Murray. It's just Mr. Owl saying good night. Soon they reached Lily's house. Just in time for bed, Oliver beamed. Good night, everyone, said Lily. And thank you, Murray, for being such a good friend. High up on his thinking spot, Murray stood with Molly and looked out across the valley. Thank you for taking me to the waterfall, said Murray. It wasn't too big or too loud, asked Molly. It was both, giggled Murray, and it was so much fun. I can't wait until we go again. The end. Thank you, boys and girls. Look for another story time to come soon. I miss you. Take care of yourself and each other. Bye.